Shekiba is one of many Afghan women who suffer dreadful violence at the hands of their husband or father. She's seeking desperate respite in this shelter for battered women in Mazari Sharif. People who have a family problem come here to seek help. But recently, Afghan women have been given a high-profile platform to speak out from behind the mask. My problem is my father used to beat my mom and then he kicked her out of the house. The mask or niqab is a television program which has been running for nearly a year. Women's stories of being beaten up, escaping from home, forced marriages and dozens of other violations are heard in the studio. He used to hit her and pull out chunks of her hair. I would fall at his feet and beg him to stop, but then he would just beat me. When a woman is prepared to talk about violence and abuse at home in a society like Afghanistan, this is really breaking a taboo. It is so difficult for women to break their silence on these issues. I really believe that the mask will have important social implications in this country. Zarmina was sold by her father after he lost a lot of money gambling. My father would beat me, tear at my hair and throw me out to the streets to find money for him. There was a woman who posed as my mother and hired me out as a prostitute. This isn't only a TV program but it gives advice to the women too. And further, it shocks men, fathers, husbands and brothers. So, what will be the impact of this program in Afghanistan's male-dominated society? TV shows like this have an effect on families, particularly young children and youth. Seeing programs about violence and abuse can have a positive impact on family, especially because Afghanistan suffers from so much violence. The program is undoubtedly a breakthrough, but there are still many women in Afghanistan who would never speak out, even from behind the mask, because of their family's reputation, prestige and shame. Tahir Qadiri. BBC News, Kabul.